Opera wine, opera wine, opera wine. Um, I'd like to say I was surprised by what I tasted in there, but I actually I wasn't because I came in with high expectations, and my high expectations were met. I think what's extraordinary about Italy today is just the high quality of wines from throughout the, the, the country. There are great wines being made in all sorts of regions. And what was wonderful was finding wines from places like Liguria, from Campania, from Sicily, as well as the predictable wines from uh, Piemonte and, and, and Tuscany. Um, I think what's fascinating is just the general rising in quality of wines. And it goes across the board in terms of grape varieties. I think that's maybe one of the most interesting things. Uh, maybe in the past we were watching Italy making great wines from uh, Bordeaux varieties and from its own traditional varieties like obviously Barolo and traditional uh, Tuscan varieties. What's fascinating is that I've tasted great wines here from all sorts of things and there's a, a wine from, made from the Fumin grape which apparently was a wine from Aosta that was going to uh, be wiped out. It was uh, scheduled for extinction. There's only four or five hectares, and this was a lovely wine. And there are so many wines here. There was a Fiano from Planeta they've been making a while, but that's a wine of world class. It stands up against all sorts of great Chardonnays, great Sauvignons, great other grapes. And I think that Italy is in a very good place right now. It's horribly confusing. I think that anybody who comes to Italy from the outside um, is likely to get very, very lost amongst all the labels, but the wines inside the bottles behind those labels are very well worth trying. Opera wine, opera wine, opera wine.